The most controversial man on the internet right now without a question is Andrew Tate. His YouTube channel Tate Speech went from averaging half a million views monthly just 8 months ago to now almost doubling its viewership every single month since. I literally have no clue who Andrew Tate is or what he does, but it seems like he got a fan base out of nowhere. If you've spent any time browsing TikTok in the last few months, chances are you've come across his face. While some of his content can come off as motivational, it's his more controversial points of view that it made him go viral. I beat you so bad, I've been called a woman beater all over the country. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up. If you were to look up the highest IQs in the world, the first 10, first 20, look them up. Are they men or women? Just why why do they call you that? Why do they call you that? Because yeah, I like, say- What do you think it is that you say that makes people think you're like sexist? Because I said the truth. In October of 2017, Andrew's Twitter account Cobra Tate wrote the following message toward a comic book writer who was trying to raise money for his son's cerebral palsy. Does it make you feel like a failure that the amount you need to help your own son is less than a quarter that I spent on one of my five cars? It's nothing to me. Your comic books have failed, but I am success. Ask nicely and I'll save your son. To this date, all four of the accounts he's had with Twitter have been suspended due to messages similar to this, and it's easy to see why. At the time, his wrongdoings were swept under the rug. Not many people knew who he was, so there was never a reason to dig much deeper. Like anyone who's gained internet fame seemingly overnight, you can bet people are going to go and dig up anything they can find to understand you better, or even worse, cancel you. And when it comes to the Andrew Tate rabbit hole, it only seems to go deeper and deeper. So if you're not a millionaire, and you're not happy with your life, guess what? You are where you deserve to be. This was all going on amidst the hashtag MeToo era, and he says this is the main reason he moved to Romania. He admits it was largely due to their lax rules with things like assault, and also because it's partially a corrupt country and the police can easily be bribed with money. I like living in countries where corruption is accessible for everybody. Something he put to use during the COVID-19 lockdown, and it's why he was able to keep several businesses open and running during the time. But why is it that someone who represents what most would agree is morally wrong ideals has become so popular and why you're literally seeing him everywhere? On the surface, he portrays the mentality and lifestyle of what some like to call an alpha male. Hopping out of expensive cars, flying private jets, and surrounding himself with women all help with that image. I want you guys to understand something about me. Yes, I'm filthy rich. However, I come genuinely from nothing. I'm not one of those guys who says, I come from nothing, I did it all myself, and they didn't. I actually did. But this alone isn't enough to garner the mass following of people he now has under his belt. Over 100,000 people are subscribed to Andrew's Hustlers University 2.0, just one of the online courses he offers on his website, cobratate.com. This one in particular is his most popular and promises financial freedom for a $50 a month fee. When this initially launched, the internet was flooded with positive reviews via videos of creators saying it was well worth the price. But most people knew this was probably too good to be true. As more time has passed, we are just now starting to see more honest reviews on his product and from people who aren't being incentivized to only say the good things. And from what they've said, it's really nothing but an overhyped Discord community, and the course gives vague and even fraudulent financial advice. Did he just say do fraud? If you start business this way, make a website, put some pictures on there, pretend you've got a whole bunch of stuff you ain't got, and start getting money in, you can start this business for five grand. But let's get one thing straight. Andrew Tate is not the first and won't be the last influencer to offer an online course that supposedly teaches you how to become a millionaire. But the way he structured it is different from anyone before him. As I mentioned, you can buy this course for $50 a month and one of the ways he teaches you to make money is from his own affiliate program. Essentially, after you join, you get access to a personal affiliate link that you can then promote. Anyone who joins Hustlers University through your link will get you paid a 10% commission. Whether you like him or not, this was a genius marketing plan to say the least and very similar to a pyramid scheme. Now you have tens of thousands of people creating accounts on social platforms like TikTok, cutting and pasting clips of him. And in their bio sits a link to none other than Hustlers University 2.0. Without even owning a TikTok account for himself, he's taken over the platform with over 11 billion hashtags of his name being used. That's your biggest platform. I mean, you just looked at TikTok. You haven't conquered there yet. Haven't I? How many followers you got? I don't have an account. It's a fake account that I'm looking I, at? I don't have an account. I don't have an That's account. That's what I was telling you, Dave. That's what I was telling you. You have people make the accounts for you, essentially, right? There are, there are thousands and thousands of new videos of me on TikTok per day, and I don't have a TikTok account. 
the platform has done little to limit the spread or ban the accounts responsible, despite much of the content appearing to break TikTok's rules which explicitly ban misogyny and copycat accounts. While other platforms like Instagram currently have influencers creating petitions to remove his content all around. But regardless, he's already been propelled far into the mainstream, even telling his students to stroke controversy to improve their chances of going viral. And in the process, he's created $5 million a month in revenue off this business model. This explains why you can't go one day without seeing him on your timeline multiple times. It no longer matters if those promoting his content believe in what he says or stands for, because they now have an incentive to just keep posting it, and his plan is working. This isn't the first business Andrew Tate created that's made him millions either. He's been open about how he's made his money in the past. First as a kickboxing world champion, investing in casinos, and of course his webcam business that he and his brothers themselves called a scam. They claimed to run a studio where at one point 75 models worked for them, set up in front of a camera where men paid $4 a minute to speak with them. We're gonna start a webcam business, you're gonna stay, you're gonna live in London, I'm gonna look after you, and we're gonna get rich rich. We're gonna be a team. And they're all like, well who's this? She's my girlfriend, she's my girlfriend, she's my girl, you're all my chicks, oh. and you're gonna stay here and we're gonna make some money. Admittedly, they usually had someone else on a keyboard off the screen replying to the men, while the women just sat there and gave the illusion it was them. But how Andrew Tate made his money isn't why there's an army of people trying to cancel his movement. There's the Moldavian girl that says that you That's not true at all. Make up. Do you know her? She's been to your house? Lots of people have been to my house. It's all good. He's been accused of violence against several women, had his home in the UK raided, and again in Romania. In a recent investigation, police noticed several of the women living in his house even had tattoos that read owned by T and referred to him as master, something you don't even see cult leaders do which raise suspicions about how his business actually operates. Not only that, but in 2006 he appeared on the reality TV show Big Brother, but was kicked off shortly after due to a video circulating of him allegedly abusing his ex-girlfriend. He defended himself by saying the video was out of context, stating that if you watch the full clip, they're actually laughing about it and just role playing. Although he hasn't been found guilty on any of these accusations, this in combination with viral interviews of him coming off as misogynistic towards women has everyone talking about him. He seems to enjoy the negative attention and still found ways to gain a large following and in turn make a profit off of it. But the question a lot of people are asking is, is this actually who he is or is this all just a big act to get people's attention? According to Andrew himself, this is all just part of a three-step plan. And becoming the most hated man on the internet was only step one. This is stage one of a three-step plan. So I'm going to be viral for a little bit longer and then step two begins. The conquest is continuing. So will, this is just the beginning. The world. I like a lot of world. people are saying like, you're going to fall off soon. This is just I'm your sure, 15 I'm sure minutes. No problem. What's your take on that? That's fine. I've been around the internet for a very long time and I'm building systems which are very sustainable. 